Mixing high quality visual effects with real world video no longer requires a massive budget. Not only are the latest AI tools making things way cheaper and faster, but the quality is getting extremely impressive and one of the best is Kling AI. In this video, I'll walk you through the powerful tools in Kling AI that can transform your basic images and clips into scenes with stunning effects. I'll show you how to easily remove characters, replace characters, or even add brand new elements that look like they were always there. So let's get started. I'll begin with this video clip of a small island in the middle of a lake. Well, what I want to do is have a giant Godzilla-like creature come out of the water behind the island. In the past, you would need a lot of time and money to make something like this happen. But with Kling, you can achieve it in just a few minutes. So I'll select video generation, make sure I'm on image to video, and at the top, I'll go with the model Kling 2.1 Master to generate at the highest quality. Now, since my source material is a video file, what I'll do is take a frame from the specific spot I want to use. Next, I'll upload my frame grab into Kling. From here, I'll write out a basic prompt that I want a Godzilla-like creature to come out of the water behind the island. But I can also use Kling's DeepSeek feature to analyze my prompt and come up with more details that can help with generating the clip. I can also choose between between generating a 5 second or 10 second video and can create anywhere from 1 to 4 videos at a time. But I'll stick with one 5 second video. A few minutes later and here is the result. Very impressive. The creature's appearance and size is what I'm looking for. It's behind the island the way I wanted. And even the waves it creates match up with the image. So I've shown how to add something to a clip. Next I'll show how to take something away. I'll start with this video showing the backyard of a house. I'll again take a frame grab from the video, upload it to Kling, and add the prompt. Well, let's say I have a scene in a horror film where a large hole opens up in the ground, revealing a gateway to a demonic realm. The result is excellent. The way the ground opens up, the smoke, the effects are all terrific. The only thing from my prompt that I wanted was to get the demonic creatures crawling from the hole, but this was just a five second video. A 10 second video probably would have made the difference. Now, if I want to mix this generated clip with the real world clip I started with, I can take the two video files into a video editor, I'll use DaVinci Resolve, and I can splice them together to make a longer seamless clip. Stitching together a real world video clip with an AI I generated one also comes in handy for a scene with a car blowing up. So here's my video clip with a bird's eye view of a car and I'll use this frame to generate the explosion in Kling. So here's the explosion which turned out big and dramatic. Now I'll go back to DaVinci Resolve and create a seamless transition between the two clips, add a slow zoom, throw in some sound effects and this is the result. Well, that turned out really well. The source material and the visual effects from Kling mixed together very smoothly. And here's one more example, taking video from a street in Chicago with an L train passing by and making the building behind the tracks break apart. You can of course also start with photographs instead of using a video frame. So here I started with a photo of a pyramid and wanted to make an energy beam shoot up into the sky coming out of the peak. The camera movement around the pyramid, the time-lapse clouds, and the details around the pyramid being added as the camera moves out all work very nicely. Now, the videos I've shown so far were created using Kling 2.1 Master, but there's also the 2.1 Professional model that can still deliver good results for about one-third the cost. So I thought it worth doing some comparisons between the two. I'll start with the same pyramid photo, but for this comparison, I'll add to the prompt that I want the pyramid to crumble as the energy beam shoots into the sky. For the more expensive 2.1 Master clip, it didn't put the energy beam at the peak, but we do get a lot of the stone structure collapsing to the ground. Now here's the 2.1 Professional. Again, the energy beam is not centered at the peak, but to me, the way the stones are breaking away actually looks more realistic in this one. So slight edge to the cheaper Professional model. Now here's a photo of an angel sculpture and I want it to stand up and take flight. Here's both the Master version and the Professional version. And each has good things and each has bad. The Master clip looks good except for the left arm morphing into the wing. The Professional clip doesn't have that issue, but the way the angel moves away from the camera as it flies up doesn't look quite right, so I'd call this a tie. I also generated another clip of the Godzilla lookalike using the Professional 2.1 model to compare with the master video I created earlier. I generated two clips, and both didn't do a great job with the look of the giant lizard. So the results with 2.1 Professional can provide great quality, but overall I found it to be just a little bit less consistent than the master version. If you want to sign up for Kling and try it for yourself, you can click 
click on the link in this video's description. Now, if you're looking to add effects to a video file itself without taking a frame grab, Kling AI can do that as well. So I'll select multi elements, which gives me options to either swap, add, or delete elements from an uploaded video. When uploading a video, I need to make sure to follow the supported file types and resolutions, in addition to the max file size and duration. Note that in multi elements, I've been automatically switched to Kling 1.6, which is the only model currently available in this mode. But the results are still quite good with 1.6. Let's start off by using the delete feature. I'll upload a video file of three women waiting to start a long distance race. But let's say I want to remove the woman on the left. After the video is uploaded, I'll select the woman I want to remove. After confirming the selection, I'll go to the prompt, which has been mostly generated already, and just write woman in these square brackets to confirm that I want to delete the woman from the video. After generating, here's what I get. A pretty impressive result. The woman is gone, the background details she was in front of are all filled in very naturally, and Kling even did a nice job of removing the shadows her feet were casting on the ground. Now, instead of deleting someone, I'll use the swap mode to switch out someone. So I'll use a different video of these three women preparing for the race to start, and this time I'll replace the woman on the right. After uploading the video, I can make my selection the same way I did in the delete mode. Now, this time when I first clicked on the woman, I clicked on her track shorts, and only the shorts were highlighted. If I was just looking to say, change the color of her shorts to blue, this localized selection would be handy. But if I now click on her body, her whole body is selected. So it's nice that the selection tool can be a little bit more precise for different types of swaps. Now that I have the woman selected and I confirm, I need to upload a new character to replace her. So I created a still image of this robot. You can use colors, which is the image generator tool in Kling, but free tools like Whisk can also produce good results. Now I've uploaded the robot's image and completed the prompt by replacing the X in the brackets with Android. So I want to swap Android from image one for track athlete from video and the woman is seamlessly replaced by the robot, mimicking her movements very closely. This feature can come in handy in a number of situations, like if you want to add a zombie to a scene. I'll start with this dramatic clip of a woman trying to get away from a man in a hoodie. I'll select the man, I've created this image of a zombie, and I'll swap in the zombie for the man in the hoodie. And here's the results. Once again, a really good visual. The zombie matches the source image very closely, his size and movements look great, and the lighting as he moves through the frame towards the woman matches the atmospheric lighting style of the video. In addition to swapping characters out of a clip, you can also add characters or objects to a video. So I have this video of a man driving his convertible down a road, and I want to add this giant rabbit wearing a suit sitting next to the man in his car. And just like that, the rabbit is enjoying his ride in the convertible. This is a good system if you want to add a consistent character throughout multiple situations, as I've done with this rabbit character. One issue with this is sometimes the scale of the rabbit would not quite match up, as was the case with this generated clip. It can also be a little difficult to get characters to move around in the video unless the character you're adding matches the movements of characters already in the video clip. So in this example, I did get the Bigfoot character to walk through the frame, but I tried to get these two giant Godzilla-like lizards to fight in this clip, and the one on the right seemed more interested in walking out to see. If you're looking to add an object and want it to show up multiple times in your video clip, you can include that info in the prompt, like I did with this spaceship I generated for a video clip with a man on a mountaintop. I prompted Kling to add multiple copies of the spaceship into the sky, and it did a good job matching the spaceships with the camera movement. Kling AI is part of a new era of filmmaking. The tools that were once locked away in expensive visual effects studios are now right here on your screen. If this tutorial was helpful, hitting that like button and subscribing really does make a difference. And be sure to check out more of our videos. See you next time.